and regulations for the conduct of the examinations. One, revise rules. The council wishes to remind its stakeholders and candidates that the revised rules and regulations for dealing with cases of irregularity in the council's examinations, which took effect in January 2023, will be put to use for the first time during this year's diet of examinations. These rules apply in all the member countries. Some of the revised rules, as mentioned in previous interactions, are distraction of exhibits by candidates, posting of live questions on the internet by candidates and examination officials, refusal to grant timely access to school premises. On the first count, the school shall be warned, and where another report is received on the same school, the school shall be derecognized for two years. Misconduct of examination officials at examination centers. We wish to state that the revised rules have been sent to all participating schools and are also available on the council's website at www.ygh.org. All stakeholders are duly cautioned to take note of the above and comply accordingly. Mobile phones. We wish to stress that the council has a strict rule on the use of mobile phones and other electronic communication devices at examination centers. Supervisors, invigilators, and candidates are barred from using mobile phones while at the examination centers. Investigations from last year's BEC revealed that some parents gave mobile phones to their wards to, to enable them to receive help in the examination. Parents who encourage their wards to go to examination centers with mobile phones should desist from it as the consequences are dire. Thank you.